Oh, jeez, oh, there's something in it. Ooh, that's a beauty right, look at that. All right, so we're gonna go into a little metal detecting adventure today. We're actually gonna go water hunting down there in the river. Unfortunately, it's a little bit cloudy. Normally, it's really clear this time of year. Uh, Lindsay, my wife's cousin, who lives right up the hill there, said they got some rain a few days ago that we didn't get at my house. And apparently, it's been cloudy since. All right, so what we have to do, we're gonna go to a very magical place. Uh, it's really cool, you're gonna like it. Hopefully, we'll find a few things too. Oh, by the way, uh, Lindsay's cousin was telling me that they had some uh, bears, or a bear, <laughs> um, in their next door neighbor's trash a few nights ago, so he wants me to be careful. So we'll make lots of noise coming through here, although I can't imagine a bear will bother us unless he's really hungry. Kind of like me. We're almost there. Well, we made it to the destination, the final destination. Unfortunately, the water is very murky. Like I said, it's normally really clear here. You see some broken, uh, some bottle glass, some pottery down there. Now for the magic. Are you ready? Check this place out. Isn't that cool? That's a big old stone bridge right there. That was built in the first part of the 1800s. No longer in use, as you can tell. A massive uh, log jam up there. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna look around here a little bit today. I'm not gonna spend all day here since it's so cloudy, the water's so cloudy, because I really wanna get some underwater action. But we'll go ahead and we'll just look around a little bit, see if we can find a good spot. Maybe a few bullets or a few silver coins, some cannonballs. Wow, that is awesome, dude. <laughs> Let's get in the water. I gotta change, actually. All right, I'm all changed up and ready to go. Um, very disappointed with the water clarity today though. Like I said, um, probably not gonna stick my head underwater. So we'll just go, we're gonna just go shallow. I think we'll go along the banks here, maybe see if we can eyeball some coins or some arrowheads or Civil War bullets or anything like that. We'll also get down to some of the shallow water right along the edges. I'm gonna go on the other side as well and see if we can find an old swimming hole. Maybe there'll be some good coins or whatnot. And then we'll come back when it's more clear. Uh, give it a couple of days and this thing will be like crystal clear. So I haven't gotten very many good non ferrous signals yet. And I've only come about 50 feet or so. Still, I would have thought I would have got some sinkers or something by now, but this is my first uh, decent non fair signal. I mean, it's not iron. I thought we'd go ahead and dig that together, although I'm not going to be able to put you underwater because you won't see anything. All right, you ready? Listen. <laughs> the uh, bottom uh, kind of muddy, but it's pretty hard. So shouldn't have too much trouble retrieving stuff here. Holding the camera slows me down, but I won't, I won't do this for every signal. Oh, there it is. Okay, that's our first target that isn't a nail or a spike. And that looks like it's probably a toy car. Not sure what that kind it would be. Could be wrong, maybe it's a little bus or something. But yeah, so that's like a pot metal, white metal. Uh, have to dig those kind of signals when you're looking for big old pieces of jewelry. And we're going to dig them all. Uh, signals that is. So far I'm just digging mostly pull tabs and little pieces of junk. We're right up next to the bridge now. I got my first squeaker that could be a coin. It could be like a... Right there. Underneath that. Probably underneath here. Or right, right beside it. So I thought we'd go ahead and pull it out together. Um, getting some pull tabs. They're older pull tabs, but um, nothing good yet. I moved it so whatever it was was right by that rock. You see it? <laughs> it might oh is that it right there. Alright, so what we have is a little piece of copper of some sort. Thin copper that I just broke. It looks almost like the uh, uh part of a pocket knife, the little sheaths, uh sheaves where the blades slide down between. I'm not saying that's what it is, but it kind of reminds me of that. Yep, that's it. All right. 
Sounded good though. I'm looking around up here to see if there's any bottles or anything falling out of the bank, but haven't seen any yet. Lots of raccoon tracks. See them all down through here. Yeah, boy, hmm, that's too bad. About it being so cloudy and these arches here being completely blocked. Because it's not uh, dragging the silt out of here, it's kind of filling it in. I dug a little piece of zinc. This is probably from like a mason jar lid or a ball mason canning jar. Uh, you can see there's lots of pottery in here. There's more here. Oh, it's kind of weird. It looks older than that for sure. Um, I'm getting a few signals in this area. I've heard another one up here. Maybe we'll dig this one together. I haven't dug it yet. Um, a lot of iron. I don't know, somewhere up here I heard one. That's a big signal right there. That's probably a piece of iron. You see we're right next to the bridge, so we're getting to the area where people could have thrown stuff over. Like guns and muskets and cannonballs and all kinds of good stuff. Alright, I'll get you out when I find something good or get at least into a better area than this. Hey buddy, I'm going to pass you by, don't worry. Let's say if I was a bald eagle, I'd, ha I'd have had lunch. That's the bank we came up right there, and you see because we have this damage going on right there. <laughs> Get it dam and also destroyed. Uh, basically the dam's all these logs right here, so the water can't come through. So when it floods, everything's getting swept back in behind here. You see all these logs and really, really silty in here. Uh, not like it used to be back in the old days, that's for sure. This was pretty rocky and easy to get around. We'll go ahead and go over to where the current is and work that bank a little bit, but man, I used to I used to be able to get stuff all the way out through here, but you can see there's no way now. Not with all those logs and silt. At least I don't have time for that. That is a neat old bridge. You can see it's definitely falling apart, unfortunately. I guess that arch isn't going to be around too much longer. I am finding some sinkers and whatnot, so I, I definitely want to come back here. When the water clears up, we can get our mask and snorkel on and go under and spend some time underwater. It's not terribly deep right here, but I do have a spot nearby that's um, about halfway up my chest or so. And definitely going to need a mask and snorkel for that and to go underwater. And I'm not going to do that today. We'll keep looking around. I am, Like I said, I am finding some sinkers, so there's still some hope. <laughs> Eeyore. <laughs> All right, here's what we're going to do. I am going to go to a slightly different spot since the conditions here are not good. Uh, you can tell it's, it's kind of deep and I'm not, I don't want to get my uh, ears, nose and throat underwater because I don't want brain eating amoebas to attack me. So we're going to go to a slightly different spot. Um, we'll try that. I know a shallower spot that I used to build to find stuff and I haven't been there in a while, but let's go ahead and check that out. <laughs> we're going way back around the bridge again. So I'm trying to crawl through the, one of the arches to go up river a little bit. And you can see it's kind of treacherous. I probably really should do be doing this by myself, but I might be down here for a while because I don't know if he'll come get me. All right. Just afraid I'm gonna like fall down and get my leg caught in there and snap it at the thigh. Boy, look at this mess. Yeah, this is all, uh, this is, this wasn't like this when I was last here, but that's been like 10 years ago. All right. Wish me luck. <laughs> well, we made it over the top okay. See this grass right here? Normally that's like halfway out of the water, so the creek is up a good three to four inches, which doesn't mean, doesn't sound like a lot, but it means a lot as far as current. This little area right here going across was an old mill dam. There's a big stone and cribbage mill, meaning it was a mill or a dam here, meaning it was made out of stone and logs. And you used to be able to see the logs going across, which was kind of cool. Down there somewhere, there was a mill. No longer in operation. It's probably been out of operation for 100, 150 years. Well, what do you think? Is that magical? <laughs> I don't think so. I wonder how that ended up in the river. Guess we'll never know, will we? One thing I haven't showed you is that there's a million, it looks like dead craw crayfish crawdads in here. I think maybe they just have molted. Maybe it's the season. Headed over there to look at that skull, young grinning skull, which I believe is a raccoon. And as I was walking, I was swinging my detector and I got a big old signal right here. And that's about as artillery shell sounding as any signal I've ever heard. And if you look down, you can actually see something that I don't know what that's gonna be. Would you take a peek for me?
Well, obviously that's not an artillery shell. I don't know, some type of uh, some type of drinking cup. Uh, probably insulated at one time, but boy, I tell you, that sounded that 40 signal, that big boring noise. There's a dead car dad right there. I miss thousands of them in here. But you know what? Let's go ahead and I'm gonna set that down for a minute. Go ahead and look at this dead one and see if he's just molted or if he's all rotted in there. I think they're molting. No, he's rotted in there. Yuck! <laughs> Let's go ahead and pick up the skull. Oh, jeez, oh, there's something in it. Ooh, that's a beauty, right? Look at that. That is a beauty. Look at those teeth. That's a raccoon. It's missing a few teeth. Some of the front ones. Poor little dude. I think I'll keep him. He's kind of cool looking. He'll be our little mascot for the day, what do you say? Now this is a really interesting development. This is a big old chunk of melted lead. And when you're in Civil War country, like we are right now, anytime you find melted lead, it kind of makes you want to think there could have been a camp nearby because they melted a lot of lead in camps. They used the bullets to set to make the fire, the paper from the cartridge. We'll go ahead and keep looking. There's a rock in there too. We're going to keep looking just in case there was like a campsite up here in these fields and uh, some of the stuff is washed down in the river. That happens a lot. Well, I feel like a whoop puppy. Uh, well, didn't really find much since that piece of melted lead. And that was over against the bank right there. And that was the only thing I found. I went up river, boy, up to those green, that green area, and then back down this side, which is silted in. But I'm actually standing on the uh, dam. I just want to show you that. You can see a little bit of it. That's one of the timbers there. There's another timber there. I know it's kind of hard to see, but the water. Yeah, there's another timber going out. The base hill is a nice big one here. Look at this. That's good. 14 inches across so you get these big timbers running that way and timbers running this way and it would have been full of rocks too and that would have been a mill dam and i think the race with the water would have gone out that way to a mill that's over in there somewhere or used to be all right not too exciting but we're not giving up yet um boy i'm almost out of battery already <laughs> gonna find gonna find at least one good object today besides that old crawdad right there all right, made it back to the bridge. I wanted to show you this side of it. Uh, you can see it's really starting to fall down. This is the upstream side. Uh, but just uh, thought it was kind of interesting to look at the rocks, how they made those arches and filled it in with rocks. And the rest of it's dirt. That's really old, that iron right there. Now this bridge was built, don't quote me on this, but I think like 180 years ago, uh, give or take 10 years. Let's take a closer look at that thing. I gotta grab my gear and walk over there. Not a whole lot to see right there, but it's a nice big old piece of forged uh, iron, or could be cast, I guess. That would have been to help hold the bridge together back in the day. You know, that predates this stuff over here, I do believe. There's some plastic up there. I guess they tried to preserve it one time. Black plastic. That's crazy, isn't it? All right, we'll tie down here a little bit before we go. Hopefully, we'll find at least one good thing today. I hope you hope as well. Nice day anyways. Nice and hot today. It's really humid too. I'm back at that little spot where I found something, one of the first targets, and um, that little pile. Look at that. <laughs> That's the pile of dirt I threw up there. I had something else in my hand. Uh, it might have been that piece of copper. I'm not sure, but that's going to be a coin right there. I can't believe I did that. <laughs> well, at least we found something today. I threw it away, and then I found it again. Oh, the memorial scent. That's not good. That means it's like... Uh, um like a newer one stinking lincoln i think is what they call them not even a, not even a wheat penny but it is a coin <laughs> so this is kind of an unexpected little find that is a navy motif button you can see it's got a fouled anchor might not actually be military these were used on uh, men's coats a lot probably up until the present day uh, but still that's a nice little find it's a button at least can't complain about that look at this big old tree that i uh, uh, I'm standing next to that got washed out of the bank. Don't see any cannonball sticking out of there, but I did look. <laughs> Came around the corner, had to come up around the corner there, but yeah, so that's a good sign. That means it could be some other stuff in here. A boy can dream, right? This is a nice little signal right here. That could be a coin. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to put you away though because 
it's just at about my maximum depth without putting my mouth underwater. <laughs> I'm not going to do that today. Well, it wasn't a coin, but it is a uh, big old piece of copper or brass. This is actually the base to a rifle cartridge, probably 30 odd six. Top is rotten off, rotted off. But yeah, those things sound good. You really have to dig them if you want to dig relics. Well, this is a relic, really. Oh, oh we did we got another coin. I think that's going to be. That's gonna be an Indian head penny right there. That's a beauty. Look at that. It was down there um, about maximum depth for me today, and it was stuck between some rocks. Yeah, that's why it's so shiny, I guess. Oh, that's awesome, man. Well, definitely. I'm definitely feeling it in this spot. Yeah, <laughs> you got a coin. We're on the board. I have another really good coin signal here. But unfortunately, the bottom is um, it's really rocking. You got like ledges going across, so the coins get down in there. You can barely get to them. I can feel it with my finger without the glove, but I can't quite get it. If the water was clear, we could get underneath there with a mask and snorkel and make it a lot easier. But what I have to do is just kind of feel around and try to roll it. <laughs> Nails are kind of a mess, but that's uh, that's actually um, foam insulation i was doing something yesterday that stuff doesn't come off but uh yeah i'll go ahead and get this coin out of here small could be a dime could be another uh indian head or something like that but i'll let you know as soon as i get it out i like to say it but i'm gonna have to leave that coin um i can just barely get it with my thing in here and kind of move it but uh, i think if i took my pick and i pry it up on the rock and kind of broke it apart i could probably get it but i don't want to destroy the coin uh because we'll come back here as soon as this uh we'll give another maybe two three days it'll be uh clear, should be clear if it doesn't rain again i'll go ahead and mark the bank right there and uh, we'll get i'll get some uh little forceps or some tweezers or something so we can pull the stuff out of the rock make it a little easier this is so frustrating because i have another coin just like that other one that was stuck down in the rock i can feel it i can kind of wiggle it just a little bit with my fingers but they're getting my fingers are so soft right now from being in the water but I can't really get a hold of it, so um, I don't want to destroy it with the pick, so we might have to save this one too. It's actually really close to where I found that other one that's stuck in the rock because I kind of dug up a little piece of dirt right there, mud, so that we can find that in a couple days. And I'm um, only out about two, two, three feet from where the other coin was. I'm gonna work on this just a little bit longer because um, I really would like to know, <laughs> make sure that they're old coins that are in here, because if they are, I think it's definitely worth coming back. So this is a nice old piece right here, hand forged iron, 100%. It's probably, uh, could easily be as old as the bridge right there, so not a bad little find. Looks almost like a stirrup, but it's not. It's actually part of, uh, I think it's off of a wagon, I'm pretty sure. Check out this giant old chain I just found. It's massive. That's a beauty too. Um, but you know what? I'm not going to keep it. I imagine it probably went to the bridge. Uh, I don't know if I could preserve that. If you look, it's pretty corroded right there. So by the time I tried to preserve, it probably wouldn't be much left. But that is a beauty for sure, isn't it? <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, guys, here's the deal. Um, heard some thunder off in the distance, and it's starting to rain. So I went ahead and changed and getting ready to head on out of here. But I thought we'd look at the bridge from the top real quick before we go. Um, doesn't look too safe for driving. <laughs> this is where we were uh, looking at it from underneath where those uh, cast iron pieces were came around the bank man it's not very uh, not very wide here is it hopefully it'll hold this up that arch pretty cool huh Whee! <laughs> oh, the trees on here man this is awesome <sighs> Okay, um, a little bit nervous about walking too close to the edges. I saw what those rocks look like. I see it's starting to rain. I'm not going to melt or anything. Not worried about that. I just don't want to get electrocuted. Although I haven't heard any thunder since I got off the water. Oh boy, guess we're going to get wet. This arch is a little bit collapsed. Well, I guess no. I guess this is in the middle of it. That's where it was really deep. I couldn't get through. I'm going to squirt. Hope you enjoyed the little video. I'll get you a couple pictures of the coins or whatever we found. We'll dig them out of the bag later. Until then. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby. I'll rock you until I go to sleep. 
she don't care if you're dying or if you're living or somewhere in between mother earth you are my lady my big round baby and i'll rock you until i go to sleep She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets she's promised to keep. Hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek. Mother Earth, she ain't saying exactly what she's saving, where it is or what it might be. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby. I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She don't care if you're dying 